Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So late yesterday in my part of the world, Google started rolling out the early stable version of Chrome for desktop. And the early stable, as you may know by now, if you view the channel, rolls out a week or so earlier than the official release. And Google only rolls out the early stable to a limited subset of users, um, just to iron out a couple of bugs um, before it's released to the general public. Now, as always, and like most of you, I haven't received the early stable, which is quite normal. But um, when the early stable rolls out uh, next week, starting the 23rd, as I have mentioned, the browser version will be upgraded to 121.0.6167.75. Now, um, because the uh, official version of 121 hasn't rolled out yet, um, I've kind of taken a bit of a guesstimate as more or less what we could see when it comes to new features. And obviously, this is not a comprehensive list. And because the official version hasn't rolled out yet, could be subject to change. But it's more or less what's happening currently in the beta channel. So give or take, some of those features could roll over from the beta into the stable channel. And then over and above um, some new features, which we'll look at shortly, that could possibly roll out. We will obviously get the security updates that basically roll out with every major version upgrade. So we can expect more security fixes. And then, as I've been posting uh, in previous videos, uh, Google is pushing more AR, artificial intelligence, into the browser. And I think we're going to start seeing some more traces of artificial intelligence make their way into uh, the Chrome web browser for desktop. Because um, Google, as I've um, previously posted, um, is starting to test generative AR features. And with Chrome 121, um, these could be found uh, in the settings page. So for this, I'm just going to head over to Chrome Canary. And on the settings page, we get this new experimental AR um, section where Google says these features use AR that are in early development and won't always get it right. So basically what's going to happen with this is that we could expect uh, one or two of these to start rolling out on a controlled rollout, very similar to the Chrome UI refresh that Google started pushing out, which brought uh, user interface changes. So this could be a slow process. And uh, um, some of the things we could expect to see on a controlled rollout, starting with Chrome version 121, um, are, as I have mentioned previously, creating themes with AR, which we'll look at now. And we also could start seeing the first traces of the tab organization, so organized tabs using artificial intelligence where AR will group your tabs automatically into similar groupings, obviously tab groups using the um, the tab organization AR feature. And there's also a help me write, which, which will also use AR to make suggestions. Now, if we just head over to our customized Chrome site panel in Canary, because this is more or less what is starting to roll out um, and we had to change theme, create theme with AR. And at this stage, it's a little bit unstable. So I personally don't think we are going to see this roll out as a default feature. Um, at this stage, I'm expecting this maybe to start being hidden behind experimental flags. And there we go. We can have an inspiration section where you can change the theme where there are preset AR themes you can use. So this, um, these AR features, I think, could start um, being hidden behind experimental flags and as they get a little bit more stable could be pushed out as default features to the browser but nonetheless um, as mentioned this is all subject to change and we could possibly see one or two of those roll out as default features although I think it's unlikely at this stage and then moving on to the next and um, apparently with Chrome 121 uh, Google is going to be working on a better memory saver on the desktop because your memory saver is a feature that has rolled out um, over the last year. So if we head back to settings, performance, your memory saver, when it's on, uh, frees up memory from inactive tabs. So very similar to um, the sleeping tabs over in Microsoft Edge. And Google has been experimenting with making the system, as they are calling it, more intelligent. So once again, AR um, could be used for the memory saver. And using this, it could allow and would allow the browser to more accurately sh accurately shut down the sites you're least likely to re revisit anytime soon. So basically, using AR 
Um, if you have a whole lot of tabs open, the browser could obviously more accurately shut down those that you are not um, visiting a lot that are actually open in the tab strip and that could help save memory as the name implies. But as mentioned, um, these are just guesstimates on my part, more or less what's available over in the beta channel at the stage. And then obviously, besides um, these features, these two features that could possibly roll out for desktop, um, we could get a whole lot of under the hood treatments for developers and so on. Um, bug fixes and so on, things going on behind the scenes, so to speak. And um, if you are using Chrome on Android, there are a couple of changes rolling out, which I'm just going to mention. And 121 is adding picture in picture for Chrome custom tabs on Android. And another one is that with 121, um, it's also going to be able to restore your options for web apps on Android. So basically, um, when you switch phone, switch a phone, Android's backup system will basically automatically install the apps you've had on your old handset. So it'll be able to restore options for web apps on Android. And then the final one for Android, just to mention this quickly, 121 could work better with third-party password managers on Android. But as mentioned, um, this could be subject to change. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.